So, hi, uh, good, uh, good evening, marhaba, assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Ethel and I work for UCD, University College Dublin at uh, UCD Dubai Global Center. Uh, it was uh, set up for students, uh, parents, uh, in, in terms of global outreach. Um, I'll just take you across to why Ireland, or why study in Ireland, a little bit on the country. Uh, we are a small country, not a part of the UK, uh, about 4.5 million population. Uh, the capital is Dublin. The language widely spoken is English, and we have Euro as a currency. It's basically like a bridge towards, uh, from European Union and towards North America. Um, and most importantly, we are not a part of Brexit. Sorry. Um, we are known as the most uh, world's friendliest country by Lonely Planet, uh, and also the world's most safest country to be in. Uh, that's a beautiful uh, carry if you want to, if you like villocks and if you like to uh, go on treks, you can have a look uh, at that place. Uh, Ireland also has stunning uh, scenery and greenery environment. Uh, we have three UNESCO World Heritages with us. This place is one of them, which is known as Keeling in uh, the county Kerry. Um, Ireland also is, has uh, some of the top uh, IT uh, companies with us. We also have pharmaceutical companies that is set up. Um, we also have some of the global financial institutions amongst us. Um, apart from this, I think you will recognize some of these logos here. Uh, these companies and multinationals are all based in Ireland and they all require skilled graduate, graduates to work with them. And that's why we are there for. Um, a little bit on Dublin. Dublin is the capital of Ireland. Uh, it's a very young, creative, and very uh, fun-loving uh, city. Uh, we have uh, voted as top 40 uh, student city, and also Dublin is ranked as fourth best place in the world for to do businesses and start up uh, by Forbes in 2017. Uh, I will play you a small video, uh, and enough of me little talking uh, on. That was a small snapshot uh, or a video on uh, UCD. Um, now about the university by itself. We were founded in 1854 by John Henry Newman, um, who was a cardinal or a priest. Um, we are the largest urban campus in Europe. Uh, it's a multi-purpose campus, so we have everything on one campus. It's about 133 acres from north to south. We have our accommodation, we have our sporting complex, and of course our colleges under us. Um, and we are ranked number one for uh, percent in higher education uh, worldwide. We like to show off our number ones. We have quite a few of them. I'll just highlight the first the, and the latest, which is by the US News and World Report. 2020, this, uh, UCD was ranked number one in terms of global reach university. Also, number, the second one there is uh, UCD is ranked number one in job employability for students. Sorry, I just went... Uh... We have something which is very unique for international students, which is called as UCD Global Lounge. So this is where all uh, of our international students can be a part of. Uh, our international staff is based also in this campus. Uh, that's just a snapshot. We have uh, the facilities, as you can see, is quite uh, top notch. Uh, the screen back there, you can play. The students are allowed to play your Xbox or music. Uh, we also have board games. So all of our international students can come here. It's a one place where all of them come and have a little fun and to relax. Uh, in terms of our facilities, we do have, it's a cast between modern and traditional university. So you can see the, this is a new building which is uh, set up. We have an Olympic size swimming pool, saunas. Uh, that picture down here is a moot court. Um, and then uh, a gymnasium, our theaters, 
uh, and various other societies and clubs. Uh, students can be a part of these clubs during their study. So it's not that you'll only be studying all the time. You can be a part of maybe uh, the JK Rowling Club or any other uh, clubs which we have in languages, etc. We also have a lot of sports clubs that you can be a part of during your studies. So you can play if you are playing any sport. We also have a sports scholarship called Ad Astra that you can uh, apply for. Uh, just with the modules, UCD uses uh, three trimester modules and we begin from uh, autumn and right uh, to spring uh, semesters. Um, in terms of also, uh, we have something which is very unique to UCD, it's called UCD Horizon. A student, if he's studying, for example, he's doing something in science, he can take two electives in any other college. Maybe he wants to do a business or elective, or he wants to do maybe something in economics, or he wants to do something in law. He's, he's allowed to do two electives in, during his study. Um, we have more than uh, 350 partnerships all across the globe. So uh, I put this slide in uh, also to let you know that students can do an optional study abroad program. Uh, during their course. So that happens in the third year. Uh, if they are interested, students can go and overseas and study with our partner university. It is the same ranking university or even higher. Uh, it's optional. Now in terms of our, um, uh, sorry for that, it's a little bit, uh, it's the laptops which have been changed a lot. Um, six colleges, six major colleges. I won't go through each one of them, but these are, under each of them we have various courses, um, about over 70 undergrad programs. Most of our courses run for three, uh, most of them are four years and very few of them are for three years. Um, if the student wants an uh, optional study abroad, that is also possible. If the student wants an internship during their program, that's also possible. It just increases the year of studying. So in terms of arts, humanities, you would be looking at English, history, music, etc. Business studies has business commerce, engineering, science is genetics, microbiology, chemistry. In that also we have the social sciences and law, which is uh, psychology, sociology and allied practices uh, programs. We offer most of the courses and only dentistry is not available and a few others which are fashion is not available with us. Now uh, for more on UCD College of Health and uh, Agriculture. It's where we have a school of medicine. Uh, it is accredited by the Irish Medical Council as well as the Irish Institute for Radiography and Radiation Therapy. We also have various other uh, accreditations which are listed there. Uh, under the school of medicine, so why medicine and why study with us? We, have, uh, we offer a, a modern integrated curriculum, which is uh, from day one, you will, be, uh, you will be exposed to clinical practices as well as real life experiences. Also in terms of our clinical campus, we are updated with all our facilities that you will be exposed to. Um, also uh, the experience that you will have, you don't only will be, you're not only going to be just studying all, the, all throughout your studies, you can be a part of also our clubs and society, which I mentioned earlier. Um, and we have an international study abroad. I won't talk about that again. We spoke earlier. In terms of student reach and opportunities, we do have uh, student research opportunities, which is, uh, it is a unique module to us, where you, the student, while studying medicine, she can be, she or he can be a part of a research project. And finally, in terms of our international diversity, we have about 55 international students that are studying with us and different uh, nationalities in one banner. In terms of our undergrad courses, these are our courses that we do offer, biomedical health and life sciences, medicine, uh, graduate entry medicine, which I'll explain to you a little shortly, uh, radiography, graduate entry, entry uh, radiography and physiotherapy, physiology. In terms of undergrad medicine, we have two routes, the six year, which is the undergrad entry for medicine, and the other one is the four year, which is the graduate entry for medicine. Now, all those of you who are from the high school uh, curriculums, you would come and study with us with the six years undergrad entry medicine. 
After the six years, one year is an internship compulsory year where you will be working under specialized doctors and then you start your pathway of your the specialist pathway or you can work as a general physician. If uh, for those of you who are, have done a bachelor program prior to coming to, to study medicine with us, you can also enter into medicine by doing a four years graduate entry medicine. Um, after the four years, again, there's a one year of internship and then following to that is your, you are uh, in your route of general physician. It is an integrated curriculum, uh, as I mentioned earlier, from early days, from day one, you have uh, interaction between patient's contact and also clinical skills. Uh, finally, under the School of uh, Medicine are graduate courses. Um, uh, we have a huge uh, list of graduate courses. Uh, we tag them as an MSc program or graduate certificate, or you can have a graduate diploma or professional certificate courses. In terms of the admission process, sorry about that again, the half of the things uh, vanished from there, but I'll just explain to you. Um, uh, the applications begin each year in October, and we take our applications right up till July. Uh, 12th of, uh, 15th of July. In terms of the applications, we require a personal statement, uh, reference letters. We also require your predicted grades, what you will be getting, and also your uh, other transcripts are from your previous years of studying. In terms of your personal statement, you will have to explain on why you want to study medicine at UCD, why medicine by itself, uh, what will this subject offer for you in the future. Uh, also, what contributions have you done in terms of uh, maybe research work or, and also if you've done any kind of voluntary work, internships, medical internships, you will have to explain all of this in your personal statement. Um, after you apply, you will, if, you're, uh, if you're selected and shortlisted, you will be called in for an interview, which is a digital interview. Uh, it's either through Zoom or Skype or through phone call. Um, and then, if again, if you are shortlisted, you'll get a conditional offer. In terms of uh, the entry requirements um, for Oman high school students, Omani high school students, you can, uh, any nationality from Omani nationality can uh, take, after the high school diploma, you can take our international foundation year and then uh, continue studying with um, us medicine. Uh, other than that, our A-level and our IB uh, entry requirements are mentioned there. Uh, does anybody have a question here before I go forward? So for Indian curriculum, uh, we require you to uh, do one more year of study before you join us. Or if she does SATs, extra exams, then we will be able to look at that application. Okay. Uh, do you all have any question on that? Entry requirement? Yeah, we do have engineering, but uh, I'll, come, I'll come back to that later on, okay? Um, these are our global graduate destinations all across the globe. Um, we do have, as I said, we are uh, number one again in, uh, in Ireland for graduate employability. Uh, we have placed our students all across. Um, we have a dedicated careers cell development where it allows students uh, an opportunity to do internships. Uh, also students uh, during their course of study can work for 20 hours per week and 40 hours during off days. Um, so that is about it that I have. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them now. Yep. So automatically she is in the system called, uh, she will be registered from day one under the Irish Medical Council. So she, her name and her registration is already there in the system. So the, it's, the, the, it's the medical body that actually directs students and where they are going to be placed and how they are going to be placed. Other than that, of course, we have a dedicated career cell who also works in tangent with them. And they will also look at the placements of the students. Yep. 
The fees uh, uh, for each year is 56,000 euros. Uh, that's only tuition fees and uh, apart from that you have to keep aside your accommodation fee which is another 10,000 euros per year. Uh, so just to answer your uh, question behind, we do offer engineering. Uh, it's a four-year program. We have a few engineering programs with us, mechanical, electronic, electrical, uh, also chemical um, and civil engineering. So if the student wants to apply, the first year is a common year, common engineering year, and then the second year he chooses which stream that they want to go into, either mechanical, chemical, uh, electronic, electrical. Uh, we, in that program also, we do have an optional um, uh, internship year. It just extends the study then. And the fees for that is about 26,600 euros. So uh, I would definitely say 90 plus is where, what we're looking at. Um, the, since this subject is so competitive, chemistry as a subject will also be looked at. So your chemistry grade and your math grade, keep it as uh, 90, 90 plus. Uh, that's when the SAT, ACT math element, we'll consider that. Uh, you are doing which uh, curriculum, sir? Yeah. British? GED. Okay, so yeah, for you as well, 90 plus uh, in chemistry and math as well, 90 plus. Sorry? Yeah. Is there any other question that you have? Thank you very much. Yeah.